Hello everybody, in this video you will look into the top must have VS code extensions that you should definitely try it out. These extensions what you are about to see will not just speed up your development process but also help increase your productivity. If there are any extensions which is left in this video but you find it useful, just let me know in the comments below. Therefore without any further delay, let's directly jump into the video and get started. In order to add any extensions in your VS code, you just need to go into this extension tab right in the left and you can just search for the extension. The first extension on our list is going to be better commands and this is going to be the extension that will help us create more human friendly commands in your code. Basically you can categorize your commands under alerts, queries, to do's, highlights and so on. And what you need to do is you just need to add annotations respectively like you need to add star annotation for a more informal kind of comment. Likewise for if it is going to be a more important or urgent one you need to add exclamatory. Likewise if it is going to be a question you need to add the question mark annotation right in front of your comments so let me just install this extension what we have here is basically a simple flutter counter example app and with the help of this example let me just demonstrate how this extension is going to work basically we make use of the double slash in order to mention any commands and with the extension what we have installed we will be now able to make use of the annotation say for example if it is a more important one you can make use of this exclamatory symbol and you know see that the command color actually highlights into red likewise you can make use of the question mark annotation in order to ask any questions similarly if there is going to be a to do thing which is something you need to work in this particular code then you can make use of the to do annotation and just type in the command and it is going to be shown in the orange color text okay and finally if it is going to be more formal or a basic kind of command you can make use of this star symbol to distinguish other kind of basic commands what you usually have so these are going to be the basic annotation what we get as a result of installing that extension you can just definitely try it out this will definitely increase your productivity and you can also navigate easily between your code where that tension needs to be provided The second extension on the list is going to be the code snap. Basically this extension is going to be very much helpful for content creators where you need to share your code in the same exact way how it looks in your VS code. You just need to add this extension, I have already added this. In order to use this, you just need to make use of the shortcut key which is command shift and p. Just type it and you see the code snap displayed in the drop down. You just need to click that and this is going to be the basic preview of how your code is going to look like in the form of png format say for example if i want to share this increment counter function to my friend or a colleague in the way just like how it looks in my vs code with the same color format and all those things you just need to select that particular function and you will be able to see that the same exact function what you have selected will be just displayed in the code snap so this is going to be the preview of how it is going to look like and if you want to download this code as an image in the form of png you just need to click this code snap logo and by default it names your image as the code.png file and you can just click save once it is done you can just preview the code that is the code in the form of an image so this will be very much helpful in order to share your code snippet just the way how it looks in your vs code the third extension on the list is going to be the image preview. So as the name suggests, it is going to help us preview the image based upon the relative path what we provide inside our code. If you are someone who is going to make use of images here and there in your code and if you are confused with what image it actually is, then this extension is going to be a lifesaver. Here in this Flutter example app, I have here a simple folder that contains the relative path of all images what we are going to use in this project and just enable it and by doing so if you now look into the list you will be able to see a little or icon sized preview of the particular image so this image preview extension will be very much helpful while handling images here and there inside your code just with the help of a preview kind of thing you will be able to understand what image this um, location actually points to the next extension on the list is going to be the color highlighter say for example what we have here is a basic folder that contains a list of all colors but in the form of a value. Just looking into this value, we may not be aware of what color this value points to. It would be better if there is some highlighter available. Basically highlight this in a color based upon the values what you have here. And that is where we have this color highlighter extension. Just need to install this and after it is done, if you go over here, the same file, you will now notice that the particular value is being highlighted with the corresponding color itself. 
The next extension on the list is going to be the material icon theme. Basically, if you are wondering how to achieve these kinds of fancy folder icons and file icons here, you need to make use of this extension material icon theme. This extension will be really helpful in order to decorate your VS code. So these are something uh, basic file structure what we have here in the material icon theme. Moving down you have the folder icons as well. They have actually predefined few of the folder examples like if it is if you are going to name your folder as S or C you have this kind of a folder icon style. Likewise if you are going to name it as node it is going to be something like this. Likewise you have plenty of uh, folder icon styles here in this material icon theme. You just need to definitely try it out. So this is one other favorite extension which I definitely recommend you to try it out okay instead of the boring um, basic icon styles and the folder styles you can make use of this extension to bring in more colorful icon and folder icon styles here the workspace of your VS code the next extension on the list is going to be the to-do tree basically this is going to be helpful not to provide a kind of a checklist thing here in your vs code so just install this extension you need to capitalize that to do and once it is done here in the side menu you will be able to view this to do icon you will be able to see that inside the lib folder i have inside the main i have a to do comment here you can browse over here in the form of tree like format likewise you can add fix me which is another thing what we have inside our to do extension so basically with the help of this annotation to do and fix me you will be able to get those displayed here in this tree like format so if you're working on a larger project I can make use of these annotations in different files and can view them as a whole here in this to do tree okay so this is going to be a, yet another productivity extension Well, these are some of the popular extensions that every developer can definitely give it a shot irrespective of the tech what they are working on. What we are about to see is some of the extensions which is more exclusive for Flutter developers. Therefore, if you are a Flutter developer, then fasten your seatbelts and let's get started. The next extension what we are about to talk is the PubSpec Assist. So basically, if you are a Flutter developer and trying to add a dependency in your PubSpec, then you can definitely try adding this extension here in your VS Code, which is the PubSpec Assist. You just need to install this extension. After installing, let me go to my PubSpec. If I just want to add a particular dependency, say for example, if I want to add the block dependency here in my PubSpec, I just no need to go for pub.dev and search for the particular installation process. I can just simply make use of the command, which is command shift p and you get this drop down and here you just need to navigate down and as soon as you see this add dependency just click it here you just need to provide your dependency name if you are aware of the name you can just type in the name and it also provide intelligence based upon the typing what you have if it is a block i can just type in block here and click enter as soon as it is done you will be able to see that it has added the block package here in the perspective without the need for going and checking for the version what is the latest one or so on so this is going to be uh, really helpful in order to add your dependencies quickly in your prospect the next extension is going to be the dot data class generator if you're done with creating the boilerplates for an factory constructor from json to json methods while dealing with model classes then try adding this extension in your vs code the name is going to be dot data class generator and i have actually added that in extension here in my workspace and say for example we have a student model and just imagine that the student model is going to have the name and id now i have created the attributes for the student model class and if i want to create the factory constructor just the same way for from json to json methods to serialize the json method during the api calls we can just make use of this extension you just need to press the command followed by the dot operator that is the quick fix what we have in vs code and as soon as you do so you'll be able to see the list of options first let's create a constructor for the final variables and once it is done if you want to add the factory constructor likewise the from json to json method you can make use of the same command which is command followed by the dot as soon as you do so you'll be able to see that generate data class option so this option you get as a result of installing this extension as soon as i click enter you'll be able to see that that extension has actually created pretty much every method i just need to have while dealing with the api calls so just no need to code it all by yourself this extension will do the hard work for you so this is another extension which is one of my favorites and i regularly use this extensions while making api calls here and there 
finally the last but not the least extension what we have in the list is going to be the dart imports basically if you're dealing with a larger project worried about adding the particular imports in the right way this package is going to be a lifesaver try adding this extension which is dart imports in your workspace and after doing so say for example this is going to be a basic example what i have here i won't be pretty much able to demonstrate how this extension will actually work basically if you want to trigger this extension you just need to make use of the same kind of keys which is command shift followed by p and you get this drop down and what you see here is fix all imports if you click enter it will tries to find if there is any file or the package which is wrongly installed or which is wrongly imported and it will try correcting them and try to import that in the right format okay since i am making use of a basic example i won't be able to show a live demo of how this package actually works and you will also notice that as i click enter it just provides me with the notification like no lines change so actually all the imports what i have here is exactly the same way it is actually intended to import Board. okay well these are some of the popular extensions what we have in vs code that will definitely increase our productivity and also help speed up our development process well there are plenty of other extensions out there which aren't addressed in this video if you found any of such extensions you feel like if it is worth sharing let me know them in the comments below and at the same time let me know which of these extensions is going to be your favorite let me know them in the comments as well hope you guys found this video useful if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye